Hi guys, got a request here from Riley Elwood to do a tutorial on how to take the receiver out of one of these cheap toy cars. Now I think that might be a bit boring because it's just a matter of undoing four screws on the bottom. But to make it a bit more interesting, I shall take this toy car apart completely and use the receiver and the motors to drive a little airboat. Now I'm going to extend all the wires. I don't have the right coloured wires to match what was there already, but it's not really going to matter. I've got some green wire that I've found, I've got some brown wire that I've found, and I've got some orange wire. So I'm going to extend the green and blue wires with the green, and I'm going to extend the yellow and white wires with the brown, and I'll extend the antenna wire with the orange and hope that that all works. Just tinning all the ends of the wires first before we get started. I've got some bits of heat shrink tubing that I'll put over the joints. So that's extended those wires. I need to take that one as well. I might actually desolder that and solder it straight through. Right, that's all the wires extended. I'll just run a bit of hot glue on here to hold the wires in place so that we don't put any tension on the actual joints. I've got some foam here that I shall put right across the bottom there just to protect it while it's in the box. So I think I'll hot glue that in place as well. Just 
melted some holes through the sides there for the wires to go through. Now I'll put hot glue on them just to make sure they're waterproof. For the boat, I'm going to use this foam packaging. Um, it's not polystyrene, it's something else. But I'm going to make a twin hull or a catamaran. So I'll cut these so they're the same size, because that one's wider than that at the moment. And then mount the plastic box on top of it and put the engines on the back with propellers on them to drive it forwards and backwards. I'm quite pleased with this packaging stuff. It cuts ever so easily with my sharp knife. So I'm just trimming it up to look something like a boat. I'm going to leave this cross member on the front here because that will help support it. And then I'll just hot glue the box back here somewhere. Make sure we've got enough wire to get to the motors. Yeah, that should be alright. Just finish trimming this up a bit. Trims ever so easily. And it's not like polystyrene, there's not lots of bubbles going everywhere or bobbles. Right, propellers. Can use these ones I made before from lollipop sticks or ice cream sticks. I'll just go and show you how I did it. I made these two propellers on previous projects from popsicle sticks or ice lolly sticks, whatever you want to call them. And they both are twisted the same way. And for today's project I want one to be contra-rotating, in other words twisting the opposite direction. So this one's stuck together using two-pack epoxy, so I'll leave that one alone. This one was just stuck together with hot glue and I've peeled the hot glue off. So what I'm going to do now is put it in front of the steam, keeping my fingers well out the way so I don't burn them, and twist it the opposite direction. So that I've got one left hand propeller and one right hand propeller. This will get a bit noisy, but I'll get on and do it. Remember to be very careful doing this, the steam will take your skin off. That's all I want to be able to do is twist it the opposite direction. I'll just heat that up a bit more. I've cut a bit of plastic tubing off this cotton bud, pushed it through the middle, and I'm now going to use some two-pack 
epoxy to seal it in place. Let that set. So we've got a matched pair now. One left hand, one right hand. All up together in my bathroom. So the controls won't necessarily be logical because you need to have them both going forwards for the boat to go forwards. So that's forwards, that's forwards, that's backwards, that's backwards, and if I do one one way and one the other way it should turn. The boat's much too big to turn round in the bath so we can only do a little bit of adjustment to demonstrate. really enough room to do this. If I go opposite ways we should get some sort of turn in motion. There we go. the same way, forwards, and both the same way, reverse. So that looks like a complete success to me. Obviously the propellers aren't ideal and proper propellers would make it go faster. But all made out of scrap items and a cheap radio controlled car. £4.99 the car cost me and that's complete with transmitter, receiver and motors. Job done.